Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today I'm going to show you how to play the support class to its full potential. Supports are responsible for rearming their teammates, building cover and stationary weapons, repairing vehicles, and even laying traps for vehicles and infantry. Without active support players, your team will quickly run out of ammo. So a good support player should be near the firefights, making sure you have the firepower to keep up the attack or maintain the defense. As a support, you get access to three different weapon classes, light machine guns, medium machine guns, and shotguns. Your starting weapon is the KE-7, a light machine gun that's perfect for running and gunning, but also laying down accurate fire with its built-in and bipod. This weapon is highly versatile and can be further specialized through the progression system. When it comes to your gadgets, you'll start with an ammo pouch that when thrown to teammates will resupply their primary and secondary weapon ammo. You'll also get an AT mine that can be used to destroy enemy vehicles when they drive over it. These can be placed passively to block off commonly traveled paths or used more aggressively by placing them directly in front of a tank mid-combat. As you play with the support class, it will level up and allow you to unlock new weapons and gadgets. Later, you can get an ammo crate that can distribute ammo faster, but players have to manually interact with it. This can be useful in defensive locations, as it allows you to focus more on the firefight at hand instead of constantly resupplying people. You can also unlock an AP mine for damaging infantry in place of your AT mine. This will give you some better options on maps with fewer vehicle threats. And finally, you can also unlock an AT grenade pistol that'll give you a small but powerful rifle fire grenade that can instantly kill infantry, destroy their fortifications, and even lightly damage vehicles. Weapon-wise, the support has a lot of options to play around with. Medium machine guns are designed more with defensive playstyles in mind, as they cannot aim down sights unless they're bipodded. So their accuracy is not particularly good when running and gunning, but from a bipodded position, few other weapons can match their firepower and accuracy. Shotguns are intended for close range combat and allow for maximum speed and damage in a skilled player's hands. One shot kills are the name of the game here, but you have to be able to close the distance to your enemy. They're definitely not the weapon of choice if you plan to run across an open field or engage in a long range firefight. However, the M30 drilling does have a secondary fire mode with a rifle round when you need to engage at longer ranges. Supports have two combat roles available. Engineer, which is equipped by default, allows you to build fortifications and repair vehicles faster. It also makes auxiliary weapons take longer to overheat. So this is excellent when gunning for a tank or using stationary machine guns. The second combat role is Machine Gunner, which is unlocked at support rank 6. This allows you to suppress your enemies faster, and once your opponents are fully suppressed, they will also become spotted for you and your teammates. This role is more focused on infantry support and allows you to help even if you're not necessarily getting a ton of kills. Constructing fortifications is a new feature in Battlefield 5 and support does it better than any other class. Pressing down on the D-pad or T on PC will equip your build tool and allow you to construct fortifications around the map or even repair previously destroyed areas. And if you look closely, you'll actually notice that the minimap shows construction areas around you highlighted in white. Support has more building options than other classes and can build things like tank traps and machine gun emplacements. Just make sure to watch your step when you're building a bridge. The support class is both vital to defense and offense. Your team will grind to a halt if you're not doing your job properly, so be sure to distribute ammo constantly, but don't be afraid to engage in combat as you have many powerful weapons. Be sure to test out all of your weapon classes and gadgets as a good support player will switch between them depending on what the situation calls for. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. This is Level Cap, signing off.